Well, you run into a lot of small towns where you have to drive up a hill to get into it and up a hill to get out of it. Just, I was born in Olive Hill, Kentucky. My, uh, if you get to go there, it's in a valley. I don't know why we call it Olive Hill, and it's, it's in a valley and it's surrounded by hills. And there's not a knowledge tree within a thousand miles. So you'll, you'll run into a lot of uh, uh, wonderful people and, uh, and uh, beautiful scenery and, uh, and narrow roads. And, uh, and, and if you meet the right people, you hear a lot of interesting stories. Well, I've traveled that uh, highway a lot in my youth, and I lived on it, you know. That's the way we got to cross the river into Ohio, and back in the mountains to see Ricky and, uh, and Keith and the Everly Brothers, Merle Travis. Uh, the list goes on and on. A lot, of, uh, a lot of talent came out of those hills back then. I could go on forever. You couldn't get them all in this, this room here, I'll tell you that. We, uh, in the early days, of course, we didn't have uh, radio, television, and uh, storytelling was a big art, and uh, music was a big entertainment. And we, since we had no electricity, it became acoustic music back in Appalachia, and, uh, which is a great kind of music. You can take it out under a tree or out around a campfire or into a building or whatever, so uh, bluegrass music thrived there. Well, of course, we were born there. Well, that's a great kind of music, too. It's the way I started with, you know, with the bluegrass band. If we don't know, if you don't know where you came from and you have no understanding of your own culture, you're at a disadvantage when you enter other cultures because then you suddenly start to realize the, dis the difference. I know when I moved out of eastern Kentucky, I was, uh, I'm uh, very proud of my, you know, uh, heritage uh, the, and the people I grew up with and I knew a lot of wonderful people and I lived in a beautiful country. You know, as a child I would sneak out the window in the morning, we slept with it open, and uh, I just put on my, you know, jeans, t-shirt and some sneakers and out the window and go fishing and nobody ever asked Where's my other kid, you know? You could be gone all day, what could happen to you just roaming around in the woods? So I grew up like that, and then as I am traveled around the world and encountered other cultures, uh, I felt that the world has more in common than it does in difference, you know? We're all interested in, in uh, being happy and uh, being uh, in out of the cold and out of the rain and uh, having our health and uh, so uh, it's important to know where you came from.